Maybe a sliding tackle here. Look at that sliding tackle. Wow. That is, uh, that is amazing. That is beautiful right there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So today, I am finally going to be playing the new updates on eFootball 2022. It came out a few days ago, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to play it yet. So I'm really excited about today. It's the beginning of a brand new era. And yeah, just get ready because this is a uh, the, the first step of, um, of, I feel like, a massive turnaround from uh, Konami and, uh, and eFootball. This is absolutely unbelievable. I've seen some reviews. Uh, about this update and it's just positive to be honest um, so I'm really excited to see the differences that they have done today This is just gonna be the first video I'm gonna make a lot more videos over the next few days about this update and a lot of new things So stay tuned on the channel subscribe and everything, but here we go. Let's get into it season 1 eFootball 2022 and um, Yeah, this uh, this is absolutely crazy guys. We've been waiting six months for this update Half a year went by really quickly um, from when it obviously got released until now and uh, it looks like they have uh, finally got a proper game out. Now of course there's still not too many game modes out, you know, the, there's a brand new introduction, The um, I think it's called Dream Team. Um, so if you guys want me to make a series about that, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. But let's just go ahead and press X and uh, already I'm seeing, uh, seeing new menus, uh, improvements here already, this is... Um, this is uh, a very exciting, guys. I'm super excited about this. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the stunning shot, of course, by pressing R2 fully when shooting. The power gouge will turn blue, and if you will able to perform a powerful shot, players with the player skill dipping shot or rising shot will be able to perform shots with special trajectories. Now, I think th this also goes for the knockable shot, and um, yeah, I just made a video about that on my second channel, recreating knockable long shots that we scored. But I love this. I love this stadium. Looking very cool. Let's go to the training menu. And this is obviously nice. This is what we we used that before in PES 2021. So it's nice to see that they're bringing back uh, some of the some of the good features that they did have. But let's go ahead and try some. Uh, let's practice some free kicks here. Um, that's always fun. So uh, yeah, I absolutely love this, guys. The training mode is back. That is great to see. Let's try to get a knockable free kick, or um, or maybe Messi doesn't have the knockable uh, shot rate. So. We can go for something else. I also need to change um, the controller settings right here. Um, let me see. Where can I do that? Um, I'm not too sure. Let's just go ahead and, uh, and shoot with uh, with square then. Here we go. Messi. Ooh. Almost uh, scored right away there. But uh, this feels good. This feels good. Let's go ahead and quit training and get into a match and see everything what's going on. There's new stadiums as well in the game, which is, uh, which is always nice. So there's more options. And I want to see if they've added any new game settings. If you are able to play a game over six minutes, that would be uh, that would be nice as well. But let's go ahead and agree to all of this. And uh, yeah, I haven't really seen too much gameplay, guys, yet because I just wanted to wait to to test it myself. So this is literally a first impression. This is the first time I am playing this. So um, so I obviously know how. The game was before the updates. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, if the players, as long as it doesn't feel like they're on literally skates, ice skates, then I'm uh, then I'm satisfied because um, it was just really uncomfortable to even just control the players, in my opinion. But look at all of this new gameplay approach. I've seen this trailer already. Let's go ahead and skip it, um, and let's get into it. This is obviously the dream team uh, game mode, maybe. Are we already getting into that? Let's uh, let's take a look here. Um, so Europe, of course, we can choose, um, the English league and, uh, I obviously do support Liverpool, but, um, of course we don't have the licenses here. We don't even have, uh, or it's going to be added soon. The edit mode where you can add in all of the real kits and stuff that is going to be added in a later update. Same in mass league as well, but, uh, we obviously don't have that just yet, but let's go ahead and uh, choose Liverpool here and, um, yeah, for now we'll just we'll just keep it as this. But if you guys want to see me do a series about Dream Team, uh, let me know in the comment section down below, and uh, that that could be fun to try out. Um, here we have, I believe, the menus for that, and uh, yeah, we obviously got so many bonuses and things before uh, from Konami uh, for you know the game having so many maintenance and uh, all of that. So I think I have a lot of points here, which I'm able to use. Uh, Four hundred and twenty thousand. Okay, this is this is crazy. 50,000, another apology <laughs> from the admin. But yeah, I think I have a lot of points to use. So um, that could be that could be really fun. 
So let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if you want to see a series about this. I, I don't really understand it just yet. I need to get, of course, into all of this. Um, but, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Can we... Oh, yeah, this, this, these are the menus, I think. Is this the menus? I think so. Okay, so here we have the training. All right, that's uh, all of that. Um, I thought this was the menus for Dream Team right away, but no. Of course, it's been uh, it's been changed a little bit. So, okay, authentic. Let's go into match then, and let's see trial match. Enjoy casual matches with this offline trial game mode. Let's go for that now. And is there any way here I can change the? Yeah, there we go. Alternate. Let's go ahead and change over to that. So the shooting now is with uh, with circle. That is what I am used to. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make those changes. Um, so okay, uh, you're not able to play with any other teams uh, still than these, which is a little bit disappointing. Why can't they just add all of the teams from all of the all of the leagues? Even even if they're not licensed, I would still love to uh, love to play with those teams. National teams as well would be nice to play with. Maybe it's been added. Maybe it's just me that uh, are not finding it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, because I've seen people, at least on PC, they're able to play with every single team. But I think that's that's because they're on PC. So maybe maybe it's not been added yet on, on console. Which is a little disappointing. But uh, here we have a lot of uh, stadiums, guys. This is great to see. So, um, of course, a lot of these are recognized from uh, from PES 2021. The Maracana here. Uh, of course, used to quite a bit in PES 2021. Let's take a look at this one. Which one is this? Um... Okay, I think this is the stadium of Sao Paulo, if I'm, uh, or maybe not. It looks like the Sao Paulo stadium. I could be wrong, uh, but that is a very nice, uh, nice stadium once again. Yeah, it is Sao Paulo, I believe. Let's take a look at this one as well. Um, another really cool stadium. This is another Brazilian stadium as well. Um, not exactly too sure which uh, which one this is. Uh, I'm not gonna make any guesses, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, El Monumental as well. This is nice to see. Uh, the River Plate Stadium is also been added, and the E Football Stadium has also been added into the game. So, of course, they still don't have too many, but th there's a couple of nice new additions here, which is uh, which is cool to see. So, let's go ahead and play on this one. Uh, we can play on day or night. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll go for a and we'll go for a nighttime game in the summer. Weather is fine. We can add uh, snow and everything there. I'm interested to see a game with uh, with snow graphics on this game as well. Haven't tested that out before. Uh, length of grass, pitch conditions, all good indeed. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the next uh, screen. So here we have some cinematics. Okay, that is new. I haven't seen the players on their phones uh, before. I, I don't think I've seen this area either. Um, this is obviously from the new stadium though. What I think is that the reason they haven't added every single stadium yet is because they seem like they have literally tunnel cut scenes from every single stadium that's in the game. That is, that is really cool. I have to respect that. Um, let's just go ahead and, and proceed here uh, over to the next uh, screen. Maybe we're able to change our lineup and stuff. I like that. I like this uh, this uh, this view right there of the stadium. Here we have the players of course. In their training jackets and obviously a lot of the player faces has been improved. I can I can tell that already. The player faces uh, has been changed a lot. Um, and they look way more realistic. Um, let's take a look at the team here though. Um, of course this should be of course very very updated too. We have a lot of options here. Let's go ahead and play uh, Ansu Fati there. And um, yeah let's just uh, let's just get into it. I, wa I want to play the game. I want to see how... Uh, how things have changed in this update. I'm really excited about this, guys. Let me know in the conversation as well if you have played this update yet. And what is your thoughts about it? But here we have the players um, getting ready in the dressing rooms. But uh, I, I like how realistic that looks. Already massive improvement. The stadium as well right here. This, this looks beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Now, one thing that I'm not, once again, a really big fan of is this... The, this weird color scheme. I, I, I still don't understand this uh, this yellow and blue colors. Um, oh, there we go. The Licked, of course, with the brand new face update too. too. Um, nice zoom in here on the players. I'm just going to be watching this, guys, because there could, be, uh, there could be new things. Here we have the fans as well. And you can already tell that the fans 
um, they have been obviously improved upon as well because I, I don't even understand uh, the, the fans on the previous versions looked like they were like rendered in in PS PlayStation 1 or something it was really really bad uh, but I love this, I love this animation, player faces, everything looking good. Only problem here is literally the color scheme, the, the, the blue and yellow. Hopefully they can change that um, or, or add the different options um, because yeah, it's, it's a little bit, um, yeah, I, I just don't like it. It's not satisfying to look at, but, um, but it really is not one of the most important things. The, the most important thing is obviously the gameplay and that everything is looking... Um, looking uh, good um, but of course if they get a lot of complaints about this then uh, they can change it but once again it's not the, it's not the biggest thing but I do like the animations there though looking very cool but once again that screen there very messy not very a uh, good overview to be honest but uh, here we go let's get into this finally I'm here playing eFootball 2022 Let's take a look and see if we can change the cameras. Have they ad added any new cameras? Not too sure. Um, probably not, but let's go for the dynamic wide, the custom one that I already have. So let's see how this performs, guys. Wow, it's been a while. Okay, already. Already, it doesn't feel like the players are on skates. This is a lot more responsive. Than it's been before guys. Wow, okay This feels uh, feels a lot different already How about uh, pressuring here? Let's see if there's any weird animations when you uh, when you press the ball We all remember the uh, crazy things that used to happen. Oh, that is a nice turn there by the leak as well That could be new, but, um, but let's see. Let's get the ball there from Dybala. There we go. I'm not sure what difficulty I'm playing on. The game feels a lot faster as well. Oh, okay. The shooting. The shooting speed has changed a lot. I can tell that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that is a little bit of a shock. But um, I think that was a necessary change though. But yeah, it just feels much better now to control the players. You, you feel like you have a lot more control, which is good. Passes a lot more responsive. Uh, link up play here. De Jong misses it, but... Um, but yeah, it, it feels more like a playable game now, which is which is a really, really, really great thing. Of course, still in my opinion, it doesn't feel anywhere near past 2021. That, um, that game was almost flawless in my opinion. Almost a flawless game. Um, still doesn't feel as good as past 2021. But still, I mean, th there could be a few things that you can obviously change to make the gameplay feel uh, feel even better too uh, in the settings. I, this is just my first time playing. Um, and I haven't really seen anybody other play the game yet either so um, But from what I can tell massive massive improvement. This is definitely a step in the right direction because um, Because yeah, f uh, in my opinion the, the game before really wasn't really wasn't that playable Okay, that was a uh, bad pass, but that was probably probably my fault But uh, I, I I'm happy that it feels like a playable game. That is uh, that is a very good very good thing. Wow, look at that shot. Okay, we get a little bit lucky here. And uh, we score a goal with Dembele. Let's uh, test out his um, signature celebration. But I can really tell... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go up close with the player faces here because they have done a lot of changes to that. Um, even the fans here actually look kind of realistic when you, when you look at them. So, um, happy to see that. But uh, wow, I'm loving the shooting. I, I cannot wait to test out the knuckleball shots, the dipping shots, the, the stunning shots. I, I feel like the shooting has been so, so improved upon. Uh, and maybe now you're actually able to score long shots as well because that was literally not possible before, guys. I made a video like playing eFootball until I score a long shot. Took me like 30 minutes and it was just barely outside the penalty box. So um, yeah, I think that the, the shooting definitely is one of the things that feels uh, most improved upon right now. But let's go ahead and uh, and have a look at some different um, different camera angles. And if you guys want us to do a video on skill and shoot where we recreate goals that we score in this game now, um, let us know, guys, because um, I feel like that could be uh, that could be a proper video now. I remember we re recreated a video or did a video about recreating goals we scored in eFootball when the game literally came out and it was just crazy to play. Especially with the player camera angle as well, but just take a look at these player faces guys 
This is absolutely unbelievable. Look at the belly here. That is way better than what uh, what it looks like in FIFA. Absolutely crazy. And um, yeah, they've done massive improvements here. Massive improvements. This is absolutely incredible, guys. Amazing changes there. Nothing bad to say about that. Um, I would say that they even look better, way better than what they did in in PES 2021, and that is that is a good thing. Uh, I, I've seen as well a couple of pictures of other player faces. For example, Erling Haaland has received a new player face, but I'm not too sure how to actually play with international teams. I think that could be only possible on um, on PC, unfortunately. But anyway, let's test out this camera like, uh, angle as well. I always like to uh, to test this one. Um, and of course, we did make a video. Uh, recreating goals we scored with this angle, uh, which was kind of interesting, but yeah, I mean I can tell it already uh, Already feels a lot better to play with uh, with with this camera angle as well than what it was before that was literally impossible with the uh, with the way that the players moved and everything like that Very difficult. I mean it is a difficult camera angle though because it changes so much uh, You don't have the best overview at times. Let's test out the long pass here as well. Passing as well though I feel like is uh, it has been improved massively guys passing that was one of the things that they they also had to fix and um, That feels much better. I can tell out already even after playing Just a few minutes here uh, passing and shooting massively improved here. We have the players coming out of the tunnel as well Vlahovic there Maybe a sliding tackle here. Look at that sliding tackle Wow that is uh, that is amazing. That is beautiful right there. Let's see if I'm able to test out a long shot with this camera angle though. I really want to see how that works. There we go. Nice dribbling here by Ansu Fati as well. Finding a Bamyang. Turns. Shoots it. Okay. Not the best shot there. Didn't have the correct balance. But let me just change away from this camera angle a little, little bit. Because yeah, it, it is a difficult one. Especially when you haven't uh, played with it in... In a long time, it, it takes time to get used to, but um, but yeah, I can definitely feel changes, improvements, passing, shooting, tackling. You know, everything has been improved upon, and and the way that the player moves as well. That was one of the that was one of the things that they, uh, in my opinion, was uh, had to work the most on because um, it felt like the players were literally just gliding, <laughs> like they were on the, on a really slippery. Um, yeah, uh, hockey field or something like that. It was absolutely crazy. Here we go again. You can take a look at the animations here. Massively improved. Reminds me of uh, PES 2021. Um, and let's see here. Let's uh, try and get another goal. Make a run. There we go. Abomyang takes a touch. Shoots it. But um, yeah, the Juventus player got there first. That is the end of that game though. And I'm looking forward to playing more. Looking forward to testing out uh, better difficulties as well. Here we can see uh, Dembele after the game. the uh, With the winning goal. And uh, here he is as well. In the interviews. Which, uh, yeah, once again, massively improved there. Looking way more realistic. And better than it's uh, than it's ever done on this game. So, very interesting to um, to test uh, this out. Um, I I get what people have been talking about now. I really understand why they're saying there's been incredible improvements. I'm interested to see how the online gameplay is though. How is the online gameplay compared to um, to the offline? That could be interesting. I think you could play some online on Dream Team though. So if you guys want to see me do a series on that, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, very interesting. Only bad thing though is that they, I wish you could play with more teams. I'm tired of playing with all of these teams. Let us add international teams and all of that. That would be uh, that would be a nice thing. So it still doesn't feel like a full game to be honest. With only one game mode and, and, and not really more than uh, six, seven teams. Of course not the most stadiums in the world either. Um, but still you know. It, uh, it's been massively improved with this update and um, that was very much needed. Hopefully now they can keep bringing out updates, keep bringing in new game modes. The edit mode needs to come back. Master League, I haven't really heard anything about become a legend. So we'll have to wait and see if they're going to bring that back too. But at least Master League, you know, Dream Team as well. I haven't tested it out yet. So I'm excited to, to get into this as well. Um, if you guys want to see that. But um let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this update. So far, for my impression, very good. 
I feel like they've improved shooting massively, which was needed. It actually feels like you get some power on the shots now, which is great. Passing as well, a lot more accurate than it's ever been before. And of course, um, from just playing one game, I cannot really tell too much yet. I didn't really test out any of the dribbling either. There's still a lot of things I have to play. So I'm going to keep playing some games, guys, and make uh, more videos about this. I'm excited. Uh, definitely though for the future of this game now drop a like on this video Let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you guys want to see from this game But that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time